Skeleton Forts. Once my favorite world event in the game hasn't aged well over the course of five years and was becoming irrelevant to most. With Season 9, they adjust these to become much easier, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you, the solo pirate, how to nuke it out quickly and efficiently so we can get some money in your coffers so you can afford that clothing set you've been eyeing at the clothing shop. Also, if this guide ends up helping or teaching you a thing or two, make sure to hit that like and consider subscribing for more helpful videos just like this. To start our adventure, we're going to grab a handful of supplies from the barrels of the outpost that we spawned at. Some would say this is optional, but some stuff doesn't hurt. You can go crazy with this if you like, but that's up to you. Skeleton Forts did receive a buff in Season 9 with supplies, including food and a couple of other things as well, making them equal to or better than a sea fort. It's honestly quite amazing. If you choose an emissary, my recommendation for this particular world event is Order of Souls or Gold Hoarder. So let's set sail and head on over to a Skeleton Fort. So approaching a skeleton fort, you need to be extra cautious of where you pull into. My advice? Take a moment and see what side might not be covered with as many cannons and full send it. One of the recent changes makes it so when a player or a ship gets close, the AI will immediately despawn and towers will be no longer a threat. I usually grab my best food and try to avoid being killed by incoming cannonballs. Honestly, it's kind of tricky right now as the AI seem to be super deadly. Find your parking spot and full send. Drop anchor when you need to and reset your boat to a location of your choice and fully repaired. So now that you're ready, weapons. Well, you can honestly use whatever you feel comfortable with, of course. Want to practice your sword lunge? Honestly, this is the place to do it. My personal choice, sword and pistol is great here, allowing you the mobility of a sword and the ability to quickly deal with the kegs. Fire bombs are very helpful. Use them if you got them. Best way to use these is to kite the NPCs till they feel that they are clumped enough and then launch one firebomb. One should be enough per wave if done correctly. Now two captains will spawn prior to the boss wave and one of these will drop an ashen key. Make sure you put this in a safe place for later once you complete it. Prior to boss wave, let's go ahead and switch our main weapon to a blunder. Take a moment to locate the weapon armory box and switch weapons. They're usually outside of the main fort building. This will make sense in just a moment. Now that the boss is spawned, go ahead, take your blunder and rush the boss as best as possible. It'll take five to seven direct blunder chest shots total and the boss should be dead. Congratulations, the fort boss is dead. Now let's go ahead and grab that key and open it up. Now you have a choice. Do you take the stronghold kegs and make a profit or do you blow them up in a safe location and take the rest of the loot. This is totally your choice and you have to accept what happens, happens. Stack the loot in the location of your choice and enjoy the new harpoon mechanic change that allows you to quickly machine gun loot onto the boat without an aid of another crewmate. Honestly, it's amazing. Raise anchor, drop sails, and let's go sell. Now, if you're using a captaincy boat, you can enjoy the perks of Sovereign, allowing you to enjoy the benefits of selling at one location without having to trek back and forth. Not on a captain boat? Unfortunately, you'll have to sell loot manually to each of their respective faction vendors. So there you have it. A quick little guide to Skeleton Forts and Sea of Thieves in 2023. If you made it this far, I appreciate your time, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a comment down below. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.